the fact that we will be building heavy duty and light duty Silverados and Sierras in Oshawa is incredible. Because we went from a plant that wasn't manufacturing anything to the only plant that GM has globally that will be building heavy duty and light duty vehicles on the same platform. We know that GM will start hiring in August of 2021. We know that the first vehicles will start to roll off the assembly line in January of 22. We know that the second shift will start here in Oshawa in March of 2022. We know that the light duty vehicles will roll off the assembly line of May of 2022. And the volume dictates, and I'm feeling incredibly optimistic as I stand here today, we can put a third shift back on in Oshawa by July of 2022. A year ago, the sun was setting on Oshawa. Today, the sun is rising. Now, who would have thought that? We were here for the very last truck to come off the assembly line at legendary General Motors here in the heart of Oshawa. And everybody said, that's the end of it. But Unifor President Jerry Dias always believed that there was a way to turn this whole thing around. Doubted that this day would come. Because the reality is when GM made the announcement in November of 2018, it was a sad day for Oshawa, a devastating day for the workers, a devastating day for my family that lives here in the city of Oshawa. But we made sure that we pushed GM to hit the pause button, which we did in May of 2019. And we negotiated an agreement at that time with General Motors where we had transformed the plant to build aftermarket parts. But the most important piece of that agreement in May of 2019 was that we maintained the integrity of the plant, which means that we kept the ability in place to manufacture vehicles. You don't normally come to Oshawa for good news, but today it's happened. Needless to say, the reaction has been euphoric. Ted, like today is one of the happiest days I've had in the auto industry. It's the quietest negotiations that we've gone through. So finally knowing that something coming was very exciting. During the pandemic, car sales are up. And the reason why is people don't want to travel publicly. And the automakers thinking ahead need vehicles. So Oshawa was here. Jerry Dias and Unifor was ready to go. Premier Doug Ford and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau on top of it. And they have a deal. $1.3 billion investment in Oshawa. And it won't be long when the trucks We'll be rolling off the line here again. With Veronica Henry at General Motors in Oshawa, Joe Warmington, Toronto Sun.